If you're new, we're carrying on with our 10 kilowatt solar system. On last week, we installed the base with the concrete and all the pillars. This week, we're going on all the bracings. Just gonna remember how to weld. First one was terrible, the rest were okay. Like really kind. As soon as the sun goes down, it just starts to get cold. I can't feel my toes anymore. Winter is coming fast and we don't have that many weeks until yes. everything is just frozen. If you're new, we're taking you through the whole process, how we're going to build our tilt system out of steel. Buying pre-frames in Mongolia is very expensive and most of them don't have an option for tilting. So we need to customize our own system. We're doing it from steel because it's a lot cheaper than doing it from aluminum or something like that. Of course, we're going to have to paint it and take care of it and maintain it. Steel is very, very strong. It is heavy, but it also has a bit of flex. This steel, it's not so straight. So we don't want these poles flapping around in the wind. We want them to stay secure. So we're going to do some cross bracings yeah. all the way around. Yeah, especially the Mongolia. That our area, they have a lot of wind. Yeah. Coming, so. A lot of wind, so we need to get that fixed today. Then we can cut all the poles down to size and start putting on the longer poles. Yes. Yeah. I thought my welding days were over. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> 20 centimeters from the line. Yeah. 20 centimeters from the bottom. Yeah. Which is here. And then we take the cross pole down there. Same there. There. So, so. We have, of course, same on that one right here. So we have three sets of mounts. So we're just taking, this is where we're going to cut. This is going to be the top and a third of the solar panel will stick out. We're going down 20 centimeters on the right-hand side pole and 20 centimeters from the ground on the left-hand side pole. We're going to have a cross pole. It's going to go from here to here. So we're measuring that distance. Then we know this distance. So they are all even and the crossbars get a little bit longer for each three sets. Zula's finished cutting all the metal. I've finished grinding all the bottoms so it's easier to weld. What I've done is I've put on this uh, top part, clamped it all the way down. Some of the poles were not exactly even, but this is now leveled it all out. These are the two centimeter by two centimeter pipes. Basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna weld it, weld it across there on one side, weld it across there on the other side. That's going to give it a little bit more stability and um, yeah so it's quite a lot of welding back to my green box life <laughs> so it's going to hold in place i'm going to tack it weld it just work out all the front and then i can move this one to the back level that out weld that then we can weld the sides as well and once we have all that welded we can weld the ones in the front and then it is all ready to cut down to size and paint and put the long bars on I thought my welding days were over for this. <laughs> Just so I remember how to weld. Like even if it's a few weeks, you kind of forget a little bit, but I got it now. The first one was terrible, the rest were okay. <laughs> but that's why we're gonna do this X. It's gonna give it extra support. We're gonna do it on the front, the back and the two sides. And we're gonna yeah. do it on all of them. So we're going to have three individual boxes that are going to be strong enough. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so a lot of welding. <laughs> Fine tuning from side to side and then across as well. And then brace it, it will stay straight. We got all the crossbars in, at least on the three. We still have to do the sides, but it's getting late. 
as soon as the sun goes down it just starts to get cold i can't feel my toes anymore but um yeah one step closer so tomorrow we'll come and finish off the welding and then we'll start welding on the front we're going to weld a piece here on the bottom and then we're going to weld crosses all the way across but i am super super excited to get this done i have been waiting for this for such a long time tomorrow we'll pick this up and finish the welding good night At this point, we can slightly make angle changes before we install the bar. We check the other side, we weld it down that side, then we can push it over, make sure that it's level, mm -hmm. clamp it in, and then we can weld it and it'll stay straight. So we can get all the poles as straight as possible. Why? <laughs> because we like to be as, we try to do it as perfectly as we can. <laughs> Our <But>. OCD. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's Perfect. okay. Good. What do you see? A button. Button? Button, now look. See? Look. Oh, look, a button, Mary. One button. Yeah? This button. Yeah. You're see? pushing the button. Green button with the black the dark. Oh, Timo. See? Oh. It's green and black the dark. Okay. Green and dark really tiny. And let's try to make sure. Look. Look. There's a button, <laughs> button, push. Stronger, the poles are not moving, which is perfect for what we want. And now we can move on to the small one. Yeah. Now we can move on to the small one and weld. The flame's gonna weld. Oh, flame's gonna weld, exactly. Is flame, flame, you're gonna weld. You're gonna do the welding. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you, like this. And then he must take his hat off just now, like that. Okay. Can you go put by the welding machine? In the front section here where we're going to have six solar panels, we're going to do it slightly different than the back one. We're going to have a taller pole in the front. This one here I need to weld all the way down. We're going to take another six by four and that's going to get welded across here like this so that once we put the solar panel on, we can have another support holding it. <laughs> another support holding it and this support can kind of bend to change the angle of the solar panel. So it's a little bit of a different system, but it's an easier way to do it since we don't have to go four and a half meters up in the sky. I'm gonna weld these crosses on the front just to make that a little bit more secure. Then I need to weld this in, weld the crossbars, and then we're done on this side. great that our solar panels have actually just arrived which is perfect timing since i've just finished off the welding side at least i get to show you the panels these are jinko 555 watt solar panels they they will definitely do the job but the thing about these ones is they're quite big they're 2000 they 2278 by 1134 as far as i can remember so they're quite big they're 28 kilos each that will give us a 10 kilowatt system very exciting so next week when we finish off everything we can get these solar panels on we decided we're not going to continue we're going to enjoy this beautiful day so i decided i'm going to make a beautiful roast lamb earlier today we picked the last of our brussels sprouts i've been dying to cook something nice with these brussels sprouts all year so let's go inside and i will cook something up for our family since we have these beautiful Brussels sprouts, I want those to be the champions of the meal. These are the Brussels sprouts. I've cleaned them off, chopped them in half. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a side dish to go with our main dish. First, I'm going to do is I'm going to blanch them for three minutes and then I'm going to fry them with some other ingredients. I thought that I would make a perfect roast 
leg of lamb with some roast potatoes. I put the leg of lamb in earlier. I just made a simple rub for it. Chopped some garlic, some sage, thyme and some rosemary. I then added in some salt, black pepper, chili flakes, some onion powder, some coriander powder, celery powder that we made a couple of weeks ago, some olive oil. Then I took the leg of lamb, covered the leg of lamb with mustard, put all the marinade over and I put it into a preheated oven at 220 degrees and then I turned it down to 90 degrees and let it go until it will be 70 degrees inside. And I think that lamb will be a perfect addition to these Brussels sprouts and roast potatoes. I'm just going to put on a nice red wine gravy and then we can start on the Brussels sprouts. All I'm going to do is throw some olive oil in the pan, throw some onions in here and some garlic and fry it up and then add some nice red wine and some beef stock. So once I've fried off the onions I'm just going to add in about three cloves of crushed garlic. Saute it for a little bit. Once it's fried off for a bit I'm just going to add in some red wine. About half a bottle. You don't want to use the whole wine for this sauce. <laughs> Not at least a glass to drink. Just gonna let this simmer till the red wine is about halfway down. Then I've got this beautiful beef stock that we made and had in the freezer. I'm gonna add this in and then just simmer it until it reduces a little bit and until the flavor is perfect. Just gonna let this simmer and we can go on to the Brussels sprouts. Before we blanch the Brussels sprouts, I'm just gonna chop up the other ingredients. What we're gonna chop up is some nice white onion. I also got this cured piece of pork side. I'm gonna dice this up. Once the Brussels sprouts are blanched, we can fry them. We just throw them in some boiling water with some salt for three minutes and then we will rinse them under some cold water. Mm -hmm. Now that the red wine has reduced halfway, I'm going to add in the stock. It's about one liter of nice beef stock. Just going to throw in some sage, three pieces of sage and three sticks of fresh rosemary. This is also a little bit of a bonus because we make our own bacon here on the homestead. So this is the smoked skin that is left on the bacon. I'm just going to throw that in and that's going to give the sauce a nice smoky flavor. Before adding in the Brussels sprouts to the frying pan, I'm just sauteing off some garlic and some onion and adding the pork. Let the fat render a little bit and then we add in the Brussels sprouts. Season with a bit of salt and black pepper. After you fry them, start getting a nice color. You add about 50 ml of balsamic vinegar and let that reduce. Sprinkle with some light fresh parsley. Beautiful lunch. Mm. I think your family's going to be happy. Roast leg of yeah. lamb, red wine and onion gravy, Brussels sprouts with pork and garlic and nice. onion and some roast potatoes. Great. It looks nice. This is, yeah, this is the champion. Oh, yeah. This is, I mean, you can have any other day, but this you can't. <laughs> so, let's, let me test. You want to taste? Yes. It takes a small piece. Whoa. There you go. Thank you. And a small piece for me. Mm. Okay, thank you. Mmm. Potato. Mmm. The 
Thank you. Mmm. Here we go. Oh. Mm -hmm. How are these Brussels sprouts? Lovely. Really sweet. Most kids hate them. Mm -hmm. But Flame actually likes Brussels sprouts. Yeah. And strangely enough. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. Mom and Dad must be hungry. Well, the lamb is good, potatoes are good. But definitely the champion is the Brussels sprouts. Maybe you have not seen, maybe you've seen this way of cooking Brussels sprouts before. Mm -hmm. There are many different ways of doing it. But it's fantastic for us because Brussels sprouts, they take a very long time to harvest or a very long time to grow. <laughs> We've been growing them, I think, when did we start the Brussels sprouts? February? Yeah. We started, Absolutely. I think we planted them in February. Now it is middle of October. Yeah. So we have been waiting for this all year long. Yeah. And to be able to cook a dish like this and enjoy it as a family is fantastic. Oh, thank you. Oh, good. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. We're going to end the video here. We have a huge project going on at the moment with these solar panels. Yes. I hope that the information that we can bring over the next couple of videos in this solar panel series can help you know all the different aspects to what solar can bring to us and to you here in Mongolia. Yeah. I think it'll be very, very interesting. New for us to learn, and when we learn, we can share it with you. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much. See you next time. Love you to bits. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Come hungry. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Okay, mom and dad. <laughs> Her family's waiting outside. They want to eat. <laughs> Lunch is ready. Mm. Hey.